But wait, there's more! Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, and welcome back once again for Shovel Knight! Last time, we took on Shovel Knight's Challenge Mode, and today we're going to be starting the version 2 exclusive expansion, Plague of Shadows. So, as you may remember from the last time, we completed the game and I had never played it before. Consequently, I have never played as Plague Knight, nor have I seen anything about this campaign at all. So unlike Shovel Knight's campaign where I did see the game played a couple of times, I know absolutely nothing about Plague Knight or his campaign. I do know a couple of things based on reviews I've heard about how difficult his control scheme is relative to Shovel Knight's, so this may or may not be difficult in that regard, and because I've heard he's a lot more challenging to control and I know absolutely nothing about controlling him, this may or may not be a bit of a train wreck to start out because I may struggle with the controls. So please understand throughout the course of this Let's Play, I have no idea how to control Plague Knight. Remember your first time playing as Plague Knight before you flame me. Thank you! Well, he's got the same kind of intro sequence, doesn't he? Yes, it was. It, tell me this has the same text as the original one. Were those creatures in the background always there, or was that Plague Knight exclusive? So this takes place after they were brought- I guess it would have to, because Plague Knight's here. I don't know, I, I kind of expected it from the beginning, just based on some of his dialogue. Makes sense to me. And then he obtained it, and became invincible, and destroyed everything! That sounds pleasant. Can I have that? Oh, is that the story? Can't he just ask them like, Hey, King Knight, you know that random thing sitting on your shelf? Can I have it? Sure, I don't even know what it's used for. Great, thanks! So there's a charge attack and bomb burst. Interesting. Let's get volatile. Oh, it's got the same music. His jump is limited. So he has... I do know he has a double jump, and he has like a... a yeah, that's, that's what it is. So it's jump, attack, jump. It's like... It's sort of like when you're Banjo alone in Banjo-Tooie, you do the attack, and then you jump out of it. So as opposed to just a regular double jump, you have a d jump, attack, jump. Right? Oh, you have to charge it, though, is what it said. Yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, interesting. Can I direct these up? Oh, you know what? The charging! Did it take away from my mana or something? Or do I have to wait before I use the... Oh, there's a thing up there. I wonder what that does. So you can just blow up the dirt piles, that's interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping that charge attack jump all the time. I wonder how many of these secrets are still available. It looks like... Is this the same exact level layout? I know the level layout had to be changed to some extent. Okay, so you do want me to get that. That's... Wow, that's powerful. In 
interesting. That's gonna take some getting used to. I don't know how I feel about that. And you can use that as a means of attacking as well. So that's interesting. I don't know how I feel about keeping that bottled up all that time. So there is no secret in there. I wonder if I can get up there just by doing that. No, they do force you to do it from over here. It's... I... That is a really interesting movement option. Oh, do I... Oh, I do that to open it up. Okay. What's that? Health tonic. A full bag of tonics to upgrade your max health. Gain a full health bubble until you fall in battle. That's... interesting. Cypher coins. Oh, Mona's the same person that we played the mini game with in the cellar. Arcana. Bombs. Wait, do we have these all along? Wait, so can I shuffle between those or not? Doesn't seem like it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So there is no- oh, I almost jumped straight into those, didn't I? Oh, those are- oh, don't do that, no. Don't do that, I'm so tempted to try to get those, no. Well, at least I got them. I have no idea what they're used for. I imagine they're, like, collectibles you want to pick up. Okay, so I can't do that. But if I get close, I can just... Okay, so it's only limited by how many are on the screen at a time. It's not necessarily limited by how many you can throw at a time, just how many can exist. I almost... Right, you're slippery. I can reach you. Get over here. Don't think I can't reach you, because I can reach you. Yeah, this is going to be really, really awkward, but I kind of expected that going in. Okay, so there's more of the health tonic. I'm guessing that they don't stack, and that's my only means of recovery? Could be. Oh, it throws it up on an arc. Okay. I don't think there's any way I can influence what direction those fly in, but I'm thankful they don't hurt me. So the obvious path forward is to the right, and there is no checkpoint over here. Okay, you're just gonna stand there? That's fine. Yeah, that's really interesting for a movement option. Right, it doesn't go direct- I'm gonna keep forgetting that. So we also have the music sheets. I guess that explains why I didn't get the achievement when I got all of the music sheets with Shovel Knight. Maybe it doesn't count all of the Shovel Knight ones anymore, because you need to get them with Plague Knight as well now. That's a bit weird. I'm not sure if I agree with that entirely, but that means there are more music sheets now. Oh, and you're gonna force me to do that. Oh, and I'm, of course, I'm standing inside you. So you're still there. That doesn't do full damage. Yeah, it's definitely going to take some getting used to, but that's not to say there weren't any things to get used to with Shovel Knight either. It's just that I'm a lot more used to Shovel Knight now. But I guess that's everybody's perspective on this game now, isn't it? It's kind of fun to throw all these things around. Like, you... 
I specifically remember Plague Knight being the most, the most random son of a gun when fighting the bosses. He's the one that had no pattern. You couldn't predict what the hell he was going to do. Are you asking of me what I think you're asking of me? I'm glad you put a checkpoint here. Holy cow. I can't get up there, I guess. Yeah, they really... The heck is that thing? Hello? Oh. Interesting. Let's go back down. Okay, I can't hurt you that way. So I can hurt you that way. And this is the one with the pit. Yeah, this is the one with the pits. Oh, jeez. I forgot how slippery he was. I, I mean, it's not necessarily being slippery. It's... Well, he is slippery. You can tell. But it was just the extra momentum from the jump. That's what throwing me off more than anything. Okay, let's go. You're gonna get in the way. It, he's... I, I forgot he was there again. Yeah, this game... I gotta admit, Plague Knight is definitely an interesting character. I'm not sure I enjoy using him more than Shovel Knight, but I can I can see how much more interesting his movement options are. I tried jumping instead of pulling the ladder again. I don't think that's ever going to get old. So there's one more checkpoint. Oh, but they got rid of the secret on the left? Or is the secret there and it's... The coin is telling me. No, it's not there anymore. Okay. So just to check, how many of those things do we have? There are nine of them left. I didn't miss any, did I? Oh, right, there's still more of the stage left. For some reason, I thought that was the end. I don't think you're going to get any from beating enemies, though. No, I want that. Would there be any in the wall? I'm afraid to check that wall. I don't think there would be. Oh, but this is going to be a lot more difficult. Because he's going to try bumping me into the... Yep, that's exactly what he's going to try to do. Huh. Oh, and the treasure bags are green. And I lose the health tonic. Interesting. Very interesting. I see the coins up there and it's encouraging me to bounce over. Maybe I'll try doing that instead. Seems like the reasonable thing to do. Yeah, might as well. I don't need the money that bad, I don't think. I am going the wrong direction! I should have committed to going to the ladder, but I wasn't trying to. I was trying to land in the middle. I didn't think my jump would go that far. Maybe I don't give him enough credit. Probably should. That jump is a lot of fun when you get the hang of it. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at how far that goes. Wow. Amazing. You fly so far with that. I'm a fan. And you can keep yourself up as long as you have the attack going, which is also an interesting mechanic. Huh. Really interesting. Oh yeah, there's the secret I was thinking about before. And I think I can still double jump that. So how many things does that put me at? Just one missing. Uh, his slipperiness is probably going to be the death of me. So I think that's all three. And you know what? We have these. So let me use one before we get the food. So it heals me up too. And then we'll see what we got. Black Knight? Black Knight! Well, if you would turn around... See, if you had just turned around, everything would have been fine. Don't you have a rival knight to say the exact same thing to? Oh, who am I kidding? He'll probably be in here, like, five minutes later, anyway. Again, speak to your rival Shovel Knight. I'm sure you'll have a lovely conversation. Okay. So I'm guessing the usual shenanigans will not work, unless they will, in which case, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to oblige. So I'm guessing, like, getting up in the air to dodge his attacks is a bit more helpful. You'd think getting the last hit would be easier. Oh, it doesn't even flash colors, it just goes black. That's an interesting victory theme. Do we stop at a fire and dream about Shield Knight? No, guess not. Well, this looks familiar. You're gonna walk me here, right? Yep. I thought <laughs> they all run away! Oh, this is such a nice detail. And you still have the happy music. Oh, why can't- can I go in? I have a music sheet I need to turn in. Oh, you you really are keeping me out, aren't you? Okay, fine. I'll come in the other way, I'm sure. Oh! There's another direction. Hi. Well, how funny. I was probably going to wait a week or two to record the next session anyway. That's probably when we're going to find it. Can I get in? Oh, there's a coin here. I'm sure these aren't explosive. Nope. Not at all. Oh, he looks so happy that I re renovated his house. Look how happy he looks. 
He's so happy. Oh, that's okay. I'll build you a better house with blackjack and hookers. It'll be great. Ah, no, 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 no. I know there's something back there. Anytime you're pushing me away from something, I know there's something there. You cannot fool me. Oh, and this is... This is where we had Mona. Yeah. Oh, and she has a profile now. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Are we gonna dance? Oh no, we're just taking us to our secret hide. Whoa! But don't we have an Explodatorium? Isn't that a more effective place to do our research? Or did we not have that yet? Uh, shop sounds good to me. Ooh, we have money for stuff. Produces waves of fire in both directions. Let's see. There's Case, Powder, and Fuse. And Burst. Huh. Let's take this one at a time. Arcs into the air before it comes crashing down. I'm guessing that's a different kind of spell we can cast. So that would be in lieu of our standard attack, I'm guessing. Two wall climbing flames. Or waves of fire in both directions. So that kind of sounds like a screen nuke, maybe? Blows up a long time after throwing, so that's like a grenade. It floats slowly to the ground. I don't know, that sounds really helpful. And then we only have enough for this one, so let's buy that too. So I'm guessing... No, we can't cycle through those. So let's see. Float all around you and launch through the air, or a float burst. Oh man! I am so glad I bought that! That's probably gonna be incredibly useful. Look at that, look at that! I don't- does it have any disadvantage to the regular burst? I am so happy I bought that. Man, that's useful. Oh, I am so happy I bought that, but does that make me more slippery? That's so useful. Oh, and I could have bought health and stuff, I'm guessing. Hi, buddy. Bait bomb. Toss into a sparkling pit. Oh, this is probably like the fishing. I'm still happy I bought what I did. Yeah, I'm sure you did. He had no idea I was there. Oh, and this is where we buy the stuff. Magic upgrade. Okay, that sounds useful, but I need magic for that to be useful. Health tonic max. Buy max number of health potion tonics you can hold. I, I guess I'll buy that. Oh, but I have five. Five's the max. Okay. Percy! Oh, are you the one that takes the song scrolls? Sure. Sounds good to me. Music on both sides? How terrible! 
Alright, so we do have more money now. I guess we can't buy that yet. I do see something different up there. Did that give me another music thing? If it did, I'll give it to you. So, do you play my music? You don't play my music. I like- this is cool, it's like an underground village. I kind of wish you could explore the old one, but I like the new one too. Okay, so what's this research stuff? Oh, but I only have 30. Okay, so that's why the, we have the coins. I could buy this now. I... You know what, let's hold off. I want to see if there's any extra money anywhere. Maybe we could buy the better stuff. I see him there too, relax. You can kill them! I wasn't even trying, I was just trying to build up the jumpy thing. Oolong. You don't look like a pig to me. Oh, you're the one that... Uh... Oh, you can play the music. Ah, I gotcha. And are these Plague Knight exclusive tracks? That's interesting. Okay, so you're... Yeah, I can buy this now. So it's the same thing, the bait bomb. I gotcha. And I can't swap between anything because I only have two of those. Okay, so that's... That's interesting. So we have our own version of the fish. And I guess we'll go check out the Troutful Pond before we cut off. Is anybody here? Yes, we should probably just move on. Oh, okay, let me go over here and then try it. Good, out of the way, sir. He's dead, Jim. Okay. I guess nobody's here. Well, I suppose that'll do it for the beginning. So we still have the same overworld map, the same locks preventing us from going anywhere, the same Spectre Knight and King Knight to fight first, so I guess we'll tackle them next time. This Universal Giant, and I'll see you then.